Hello everyone, um, welcome to another video on this channel. Um, today we're going to talk about a camera of mine. Um, this particular one. This is my Zenza Bronica S2A. So this is my Zenza Bronica S2A medium format SLR. Um, now, what does that mean? Um, well, if you've ever had any kind of normal camera, um, that is technically, whoops, <laughs> top of that popped open, great. Um, that tends to be um, an SLR, which is a single lens reflex um, camera. So you take a picture, the mirror flips up so that the, uh, you know, either in a digital camera, the um, sensor can then see what you've just seen and take a picture, um, or in the case of what I shoot, film, um, that image gets burned onto the negative um, of the film itself. Is it burnt? Well, I guess it's light burning chemical. I guess I suppose it gets burnt onto it. That's what I'm going to go with. But yeah, this is my one. It weighs an absolute ton. Um, it has this, a removable back. In the days before digital cameras, you could take thousands and thousands of images. Um, this would be the way that you'd take more than 12 at a time. <laughs> I've got two cartridges of this. This one has film in, so I can't show you what they look like inside. Um, I'll show you my empty one um, in a second. And yeah, it just comes apart like this. They're quite modular, to be perfectly honest, as well. This comes off as well. You can you can change that out. You can change out the lens on the um, massive shutter, as you can see by there. And um, yeah, that's uh, that's the basics of it. So uh, let's take a let's take a quick look of it um, up close. So this is a top-down view of this Bronica S2A. Um, as you can see, not a lot going on here. Um, Going to make it make an awesome noise. I love it when it does that. <laughs> so there you can see down through the viewfinder. Now the viewfinder obviously looks straight down there and out of the lens by there. It's a standard SLR, um, just like most cameras. To be perfectly honest with you, this pops away like that. It's also got. That'll pop out magnifying glass, so you can get a better look um, if you're focusing close up. It's ground glass lens. Um, it's really bright, actually. It's a really, really bright viewfinder. Um, this keeps popping up, which is infuriating. <laughs> but um, yeah, basically this bit on the back here, which I'll show you now. This is the um, cartridge itself that you put the film in. Um, essentially, it pops off like that. As you can see, there's the shutter there. So this the film cartridge, dark slide by there, uh, film counter on the side by there, you probably can't see this very well, but uh, there we go, because the camera is awful at focusing, there we go, okay, we'll just pop that back on the back of the camera like that, cartridge opens up, little button up there, like that, this is where you load your film, this pops out like that, as you can see, film goes on the bottom there, you move this reel up to there and you just wheel it around, like that, then you pop that back in. Anyway, on this side, you've got frame counter down the bottom there. Um, this bit at the top, I believe it can shoot either 120 or uh, 220 um, film on these cartridges. I've never shot 220, so I, I don't know how it works, but um, I think that's what that button by there is. This bit by here is the film wind, it pops out. That's a very satisfying noise, isn't it? <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, so that's that side. Other side by here, if that focuses, there we go. Uh, this is the focusing uh, knob. Um, oh no, it isn't. That's not the focusing knob. What am I on about? <laughs> That is the shutter speed selector. <laughs> Don't try focusing with that, that's the shutter speed selector. Um, it goes um, all the way from bulb uh, down to um, one one thousandth of a second. Um, I will fire the shutter in a minute and you can hear just how loud this is. It's, it's like a thunderclap. It's a really satisfyingly loud noise, um, but at the same time terrifying. Uh, other bit on this side is this. This is the dark side. Uh, dark slide, sorry. So, upside like that. Essentially, this slides in here to stop your film being 
uh, exposed. You can't take a picture with the dark slide in. You have to remove it in order to take a picture. Uh, the, the mechanism will not work with that in there, which is a really good, really good thing, I think, to be perfectly honest with you. You don't want to take pictures accidentally in your bag. To take it off, you push the dark slide in. There it is by there. Basically, as you can see, it just slides out and that'll be where the film is, exposes to the shutter. The lens I've got on this is a 75 millimeter um, nickel uh, f2.8. Um, it'll go to 22 to 2.8, uh, the apertures on that. And yes, um, you did hear me right, it is a Nikon lens. Um, when Bronica first started making cameras, um, they didn't make their own lenses. They got Nikon to make lenses for them, um, and this is one of them. It is a beautiful lens. It's a really, really beautiful lens. Makes makes lovely images. Really, really pin sharp. Um, very, very nice um, bokeh um, when you uh, shoot it wide open at 2.8. Um, as you know, you'll probably see in a moment. I want to show you some pictures. Um, but yeah, it's it's, it's lovely. It is removable. Um, I don't have any other lenses for this, unfortunately, because this camera is so old. The lenses are quite hard to get hold of, and when you do, they're really expensive. On the bottom. Standard tripod uh, thread mount. Um, in fact, that's usually how I shoot this because it is so heavy. Um, you have no idea how, how heavy this is and how difficult this is to hold with one hand right now. It's why I keep bringing my second hand in. Focus is on the lens there. Comes nicely out, there you go. Um, and it's got um, uh, the aperture ring by there as well. Um, so yeah, um, that is the Bronica S2A. Final thing I'll do um, while showing you this is uh, fire the shutter so you can hear it. So fire it without filming, we've got to take the back off. The shutter button is just on the front down here. Listen to the noise of this. How satisfying is that? The observant man, you may notice that I've moved the camera. <laughs> I went to film something slightly different and then realized, oh, I forgot to do this bit. Yay, standard. Um, these videos are very poor quality, as always. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is my um, Bronica S2A. Um, now, probably makes sense to take a look at some of the photographs that I've made with it. So um, yeah, stick about, we'll, uh, we'll have a look through some of those. I hope you enjoyed those. Um, obviously, go check out my Instagram if you want more photos um, of that kind of thing. Um, I do shoot an awful lot of medium medium format films, so the vast majority of my stuff on Instagram or, or that I get shared onto my Twitter is basically stuff that I've either shot with that or with my Yashica, um, which um, which I've got another video that I spoke about uh, about it previously. In fact, there might be little things popping around my head right now telling you about that. Um, so. Yeah, that's, uh, that's my Bronica. That's some photos that I've taken with my Bronica. Thanks very much for, for watching this video. Um, obviously, like and subscribe um, if you want to see more content kind of like this. Um, I've got a couple of new videos at the moment where I've uh, gone out with my camera, taken a few pictures, and you can see me walk around. And Well, you can see it from my point of view, uh, walking around and then the photographs that I take. Um, yeah, thanks very much again, and um, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.